Happening today, youth violence and major changes at Cincinnati Public Schools will be the topics of conversation as the Board of Education meets with members of City Council. WLWT News 5's Giacomo Luca live with what to expect from this joint discussion and Giacomo what it means for parents and students. Yeah, Kelly, tonight's discussion is really going to surround a couple of topics. One, uh, and both of those re really related to safety. One, uh, the necessity to bring in more crossing guards, and the other, uh, the concerns about violence at transit centers across the city. Now, just last month, WLWT watched as uh, students misbehaved at the Oakley Metro Transit Center, where many of them are picked up and dropped off by Metro buses. Dozens have been arrested across more than 70 youth-involved incidents just this year. The city's police chief even showed up unannounced to a school board meeting in September, asking for help from the district after the department spent more than $400,000 in overtime for officers responding to issues like these. CPS board president Eve Bolden says she was stunned by the visit but acknowledged the issues while saying it's not a problem that can be solved with teachers or administrators. If we don't come up with a more plausible long-term solution, mark my words, something critical is going to happen and then everybody's going to be pointing the finger at the police. Now, for now, volunteer organizations have been assisting and providing support for teens, meeting them at transit centers, trying to prevent uh, violence and reporting it uh, when it does happen. Meanwhile, no decisions expected at tonight's meeting, but we'll see if any major changes uh, or discussions come out of this. Live at the CPS headquarters, Giacomo Luca, WLWT News 5.